like a boss. Hiding female friends. Actually, um, when a guy hides his female friends from you, studies show that uh, um, 53% of people who had affairs reported doing it with a close personal friend, okay? And when and one and those guys usually hide those females from you, or it might be in plain sight. In plain sight, um, and that's why that's why I recommend women not to keep exes as friends, or not to have too many male friends if if unless it's your job, right? But don't have too many male friends because it causes conflict. Just like if he has a lot of female friends, it'll cause conflict. Um, so when a guy and if you notice that there's a woman you never met before that that's a good friend of his. You gotta be a little careful with that woman, especially if she, especially if that woman looks like you. Think about it; he's with you, and that girl looks exactly like you. Having emotional stability. If you're a woman who's desperate, no sense of purpose, it pretty much says that you don't have any hobbies. You don't have any routines or goals that you're working towards. Having hobbies, routines, goals, and a good social circle, right? And when I say social circle, that also means good family and also maybe a therapist on the side. When you have that, you maintain your sexual market value. You maintain it where it should be. If you don't have emotional stability, you're going to be chasing every guy. And your sexual market value is pretty much based on you. How needy are you? How much pride do you have in not chasing a guy who's treating you like shit? How much strength do you have to not pursue a guy who's not pursuing you? Having a good emotional stability causes you to be able to have an ecosystem of positive emotions. If you are somebody who chases a lot, if you're a nice person, unfortunately, you need to get some help. It, um, men value a woman who hasn't been with a lot of guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is when lying comes into place. Because we all know it's very easy to rack up numbers, especially nowadays. By mistake, you could fuck 20 guys in one year by mistake. I know that. Don't don't lie to me, ladies, all right? Stop being like, ah, ah, that's not me. Shut the fuck up, okay? You know, you got them well, that's you, okay? It happens. It's okay. We're sexual creatures. We're humans. Stop being ashamed of your sexuality. It doesn't make you any better than the next woman. But the point is, is that guys value that. So it's better you shut the fuck up. Keep that shit to yourself, okay? Why? Because guys don't want to know about that. You hurt their ego, and they're falling in love with you because you hurt their ego. The way to create this type of stuff is just to hurt their ego, man. Like, break up with them. Be very inconsistent. And then get back with them by having that up and down seesaw type of motion a lot of guys will fall in love with you but the thing is is that that love could potentially just be ego the likelihood of those types of relationships lasting um are kind of low but compared to using any strategy with a guy who would have never loved you it's the highest efficiency type of thing you know? say this man would have never loved you right? you use this and you actually hurt his ego he kind of likes you but then you hurt his ego it does increase the likelihood of this person loving you way more than not doing nothing. The problem with this type of love is that once you validate them, you lose interest. But again, that's a lot of the times. And considering you had no hope prior to it, it's actually a pretty good strategy. Guys will literally pull away just to see whether or not you're going to get emotional or start responding fast. Don't fall for it. Don't over pursue. Always go into a relationship assuming that he's going to pull away so that when he does do that, you don't say, oh my God, I don't see, I didn't see it coming, which causes you to lose control. No, say, oh, pff, that's, what, that's what I expected, right? Because it's almost like a practical negativity where you are negative in a rational way. Not when a guy pulls away, and that means pulling away physically, you even seeing him, pulling away in terms of how long he takes to respond, pulling away in terms of his emotional presence, all that kind of stuff. Anytime you feel like he's pulling away in the beginning, just let him be. Let him be. You're not ruining it. You're not, you're not letting him walk away. Motherfuckers are not stupid. They know what they're doing. Once a guy cheats, it's over. People never do things just once. People always repeat their behavior. One time is enough. For some reason, some of you ladies just don't want to understand. And the reason why is because you don't want to face the reality that I might be right for once. When a guy cheats, there is no coming back from that. Because you will never trust him. When a guy cheats on you once, he will literally change the way you think. The only way for this to work is to make sure he's not cheating. And the only way for you to make sure he's not cheating is to look at his phone. So if you were the guy he cheated, there's no going back because you would never trust them. Cues of power comes across in terms of the people listening to you while you talk. They are in silence. Right? Men respect you. Women respect you as well. It could be that you are a leader of men, a leader of people. Another aspect of power is the way you behave. You're moving slower rather than moving faster. Talking slower than talking fast. Responding slower than responding fast. And then talking loud. 
you talk in a more relaxed way. All of those things say power. You are in complete and utter control. Those are all attractive traits that every band needs to develop. Learn how to give powerful looks. Learning how to speak with your eyes. Learn to speak without words. Find ways to speak with your eyes, with your hands, with your with nonverbal. You're pretty much going to communicate power for the most part. Prioritizing the long term over the short term. If you're somebody that prioritizes the short, the long term over the short term, you make better decisions in every aspect of life. When you prioritize the long term, you pretty much open the apertures of life itself and you begin to see deeper into the future. Thinking long term becomes almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're a short term thinker, that's a character flaw. You could develop addictions. You end up staying in toxic relationships because you just don't want to leave. You develop maturity through self-awareness by realizing that you're not mature and working your way up. As you grow older, your brain matures and the experiences you have strengthens you as a person. All right, ladies, so finally, I have released my second course for women, which is natural chemistry. This course is a five week course, five week course where every week you're going to get a new set of videos based on, based on specific issues. This course is all about how to create and maintain the attraction in any man. This will help you create love. This will help you deepen the love with your man. This is not about manipulation. This is not about playing games. This is genuine, genuine, natural chemistry no more short-term partners no more being fooled why because i will reveal to you not only how to create attraction in the first week but also how to understand male nature how to understand their tricks how to prevent from being a too attached signs that he's the wrong guy signs that he's a narcissist signs that he's a mama's boy signs that he's an emotionally available guy emotionally unavailable guy we go over everything. We go over this third week, setting boundaries. We go over the third week, controlling your emotions, right? Setting boundaries, fourth week, fifth week, embracing your masculine and the feminine, right? And on top of that, I come, I have over 10 different bonuses, 10 different bonuses, my Lord have mercy, right? With, with a money back guarantee. The bonus are one, the natural chemistry, over 10 hours of content, right? The breakup formula, how to deal with a breakup, right? The connecting with your man, right? Establishing a life of abundance, social mastery, understanding your dark side, the goal setting seminar, which is about how to set and achieve goals, practical mastery that will teach you how to master anything. The laws of human nature. I will come that I have a book club for the laws of human nature where over four hours of content, right? The transformational seminar in a pocket, which is my mindfulness seminar and the Chase audiobook. This is a this originally is one thousand eight hundred dollars, but you get it starting at ninety seven dollars, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Ninety seven dollars. We have different packages, but all of this starts at ninety seven dollars. And you know what? You can check it out for free if you want. Yeah, for all the freeloaders, I have free videos just for you free videos all right so you could just check it out for free and then you could get out nothing wrong with that all right so and on top of that it comes with a 30-day money back guarantee no questions asked that's right no questions asked i don't mind i just want you guys to check it out because i know when you take one look you're gonna want to buy it i could promise you just like my other course um the psychological the psychological game of attraction it was a hit you're gonna love this one this one is not about manipulation this is genuine natural chemistry order it now all right i'll see you guys inside peace out